Continuing on with our Florida RV Super Show series, in this video we're going to be focusing on eight different Class Bs, including models from Pleasure Way, Coach House, Leisure Travel Vans, and Road Trek. Let's check out this Pleasure Way Ascent TS. For a smaller B-Class, this actually feels very roomy, and I like the layout. This countertop is nice and low, and it opens to a nice big window and open space. It has a zip-down awning in case there's bugs out that evening. And check this out. The refrigerator is neither too low nor too high. It's at a very reasonable height for anybody. Even the microwave seems at a good height. It's got a wet bath. This mid-tone cabinetry is really nice because it's not too dark, not too light but I like the light colored leather. I like this round table that pivots because this feels very versatile so that you can position it in a lot of different places, whether you're having a meal or playing cards or just on your laptop. I really feel there's a lot of quality in this RV. The leather feels very nice. It's very comfortable cushions. It has a real metal faucet and it has a packed with a lot of technology that you don't necessarily see in other coaches this size. It has a digital display and central wiring. It has an EcoSmart lithium battery bank and it even has Truma consistent hot water. Nice size little TV here with a Bose soundbar. It has one electronic touch panel up here for the lights and another one back here that has all your tank capacities, shows your battery capacities, additional lights, and your climate control. The Pleasure Way Ascent TS MSRP is $142,000, and the show price is $120,000. This is a nice, nimble little van. They've packed a lot into this package. This new Pleasure Way even has a pop-up top. So this is a 2019 Pleasure Way Plateau XLTS. It's on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis and it's got the wide body, so let's go take a look. Tell you, I really like how in these little bees, I feel like I can easily drive this. I don't ever drive our motorhome. I drive our Tiffin once, but this is something I feel like I can drive around very easily in. Again, really happy to see all of this lighter, brighter colors and more European clean line styling, which we've all been wanting for so long. This is really nice. Wow, look at this bathroom. This is huge. I've never seen such a big bathroom in a Class B. Uh, you've got a separate shower here, uh, got a toilet. Let's check this out. And there you go. Even in this little Class B, I have a decent amount of arm space here in the bathroom. Tiny, tiny little basin. But look at all this cupboard space. So here is where you're really getting to feel the wide body of this van and see how much space you have. Really good counter height. It's even good for me being a shorty. And yep, yeah, this is a real faucet, not plastic. This is a groovy fridge. I've never seen one like this before. Check it out. How cool is that? Now it feels, it's a plastic handle. These are plastic shelves on the inside. You wouldn't want to put too much heavy glass on that. But still, nice and lightweight, really cool slimline design. Really like the light and bright cabinets around here, the LED recessed lighting, really deep cupboard, so lots of storage in there. And here in the back, which of course is your dining area, lounging area, sleeping area, you will of course have to break your bed up and down every day to sleep in, but this is great. You've got a table that moves around and swivels that I, I can't work out how to do but anyway I'm sure it moves to more exciting places than just here yeah this is really nice I like it and it's actually got quite a lot of ceiling height I'd say this would be comfortable for somebody even as tall as six or feet or more this retails at 158,000 MSRP but you can have it for just under 133,000 watch out Next up was to visit Coach House. One of the most unique things about a Coach House is that the rear section is a single molded fiberglass shell which reduces leaks and squeaks. The 
Platinum XL is built on a Ford chassis. So for a Class B, this has got massive living space. You can see here it's got one slide out. This is an American leather sofa that is a Murphy bed style. Hello, you're fine. <laughs> that opens out just like a Murphy bed, but because it's not a Murphy bed, you don't lose the window uh, behind here. So that's great. It does come out to a full 60 by 80 queen all the way to here. Uh, which is, means you're making your bed up and down every day. Uh, you can probably leave your sheets on, but uh, yeah, that's it's getting popular in here. Yeah. So it's because you don't have a fixed bed is why you end up with all of this floor space. Two of these really great swivel uh, tables. These are Corian countertop, really nice quality. They swivel back and forth, all the way around, up and down. So they're awesome. Very comfortable little dining area. Nice big windows. Nice light, bright modern interior. Really big kitchen area, really big uh, countertop space here. This is Corian. Very deep, so you can put things behind the sink area. Uh, fridge that I can actually reach, and a microwave that I can mostly reach. A lot of storage, which is great. And the bathroom, here's the, here's the Julie toilet test. It's a little tight in here with the door closed. You're probably a little sit forward and have a bit more room, but uh, this is a nice size bathroom. And of all the Class Bs we've seen so far, I'm really liking this one quite a lot. As with many of the other bees we're looking at, we're seeing central touchpad control panels with multiplex wiring. Coach House sells direct from the factory, not through dealers, and the prices range for throughout their line between $150,000 and $200,000. Coming up soon, we have an exclusive interview with Steve Gazzini, Vice President of Coach House Motorhomes. Next, we walk through the smaller Coach House Arriva Class B, which is built on a Mercedes chassis. This model is the V24TB. It's good, you can check out the floor plan from the back of the coach too. Just open up the doors wide open. It's important when the crowds are so big here on Saturday. I like how the door swings all the way around. Yeah. I recognize you guys, how you doing? <laughs> It's a twin bed rear bath unit. Has a really neat drop down desk feature at the front of the motorhome, which allows oh, for a very flexible space by turning around the cool. drivers. Oh, that's cool. That's great. You can come here, or if you had another little, and your little you seat here. That, that's real nice. here, or turn that around and. Right. It's got a lot of drawers and cabinets and everything. See, we even had we even had someone showing us the product. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. The twin bed configuration means you have beds set up at all times. Rear bath has a toilet and sink separate from the shower. And if you're somewhere private, you can leave the rear doors open for a loo with a view. Now we're in a Leisure Travel Vans Wander model. It's a B plus or a wide body B. Also has a taller than normal ceiling for a B. It's based on a Ford Transit platform and it's about $130,000 MSRP and $125,000 social show special. We're currently in a model that's called the RTB or rear twin bed. Uh, one thing that was kind of cool when we got in here we did see the two rear twins, but there's also a flip down piece of wood that you can bring down and then bring those beds together so that you can sleep side by side if you like. I'm very impressed with the functionality of this coach. There's not a lounging area so much, but there's a very functional area in the front that has two seats, one on each side of the coach with a table in the center that's using that same lagoon table system we see that's very versatile and then it spins and it rotates, goes up and down. There's a second mount for that back in the back next to the twin beds as well. The kitchen is highly functional. It's got a nice round sink, a two burner stove, and a flip down counter that's only going to be able to be used when you're not using that second seat. It has a separate shower from the rather half bath. The toilet and the sink is in one area and the shower is separate across the hall. 
The refrigerator and the microwave are mounted at good height to be able to be accessible by a wide range of height. An enormous storage bay in the outside area, which I have not seen in very many other Bs or B pluses. So it's great to be able to carry on some extra gear with you in this B plus. One more feature I want to show you here. This is something that I've seen in more European models, but it's a really neat way to open up the roof and you can get a lot of ventilation like this and you can also bring it down at three different levels or lock it in place. Very quick, very simple. It also has a multiplex wiring for a centralized control to be able to have a good view of all of your water levels and climate control. I believe that this class B plus has an excellent use of space. It's highly usable and especially considering this doesn't even have a slide. This is a very functional and very quite appealing floor plan. The Leisure Travel Serenity is a wide body B built on a Mercedes chassis. Has a dinette seating up near the front of the motorhome with the lagoon table and also an extra seat on the passenger side. It has an electric fold out couch that turns into a large sleeping area at the rear of the motorhome. No, oh, that's nice. Wow. MSRP on the Leisure Travel Serenity is around 156,000 and the show price was 152,000. check out this Road Trek Adventurous XL Edition. This is longer than a usual van, so let's go check it out. You can see this has got four seats. This seat's uh, two in the front cab and two here, so this would be great for a family. Really like the light interior. This is what we've all been asking for, is light, more modern interiors, more European styling, and that's what they've done in here. There's a bathroom in there, a wet bath. Nice, nice. I like the light because it makes it feel bigger. Lots of storage space in these cabinets all the way around. That's awesome. This countertop is way too high. It's like it comes up, well, you know where, <laughs> where it comes up to. So that's pretty high, but that's because it makes room for this little fridge down here. This is really nice. It's really sleek, feels very clean, light, open. This is really comfy. It's a place down here for you to be able to put your table in so you can sit around here to eat or play games. There's another one up in the front area between the driver and passenger seat so you can put a table there to eat and drink or have some snacks. I don't know if you keep it up while you're driving. I don't know. Lots of little nooks and crannies to store your stuff. So a little shelf back here, cup holders over here, little TV. I like these pop cabinets really nice I like this one this is even a great size for me to drive in I'm little but this RV would be really great for road trips and a perfect size for a family too we didn't find pricing at the show for the RS Adventurous XL but a quick look online shows the MSRP of around 137,000 so I'm inside the new Road Trek Haven it's all new this year it's on the Ford Transit chassis that's actually one of the things I think is pretty cool about Road Trek is they do offer all three chassis they offer Mercedes Ram and Ford chassis and they offer a four-wheel drive version of the Mercedes as well but right now we're inside the Ford Transit version the brand new Road Trek Haven uh, the countertop doesn't seem nearly as tall as the one that we were just looking at when Julie was in, but because the refrigerator is now not under, now it's really tall, so you'd need to be a really tall person to get into the refrigerator. Uh, it does have a really nice wet bath in here. I like the wood floor. All one plastic piece would be really easy to keep it from having any leaks. It seems much more durable that way. Yeah, the opposite end of the spectrum, this tall fridge, oh! I didn't even know how to open it. You can't reach the lock. Where is the lock? At the top of the door. There you go. This is not for short people. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot reach the lock to unlock the fridge, which is really good if you're on a diet or a weight loss program. <laughs>
this is a really big counter space. This has got to be a six feet long. It has a little step up to the rear. I really like the LED strip lighting and I really love how there's so much glass and windows in this New Haven because that's going to let in a lot of light and a lot of views. They didn't have an MSRP listed at the show and being such a new unit, we weren't able to find the price online. There are some recent major changes going on with Road Trek Company and we're not sure how these are going to unfold in the future. So keep a close eye on that if you are considering a Road Trek brand. Howdy! Oh my god, I follow you guys. Do you? Oh, you just followed us right into an RV. Oh, yeah. So we're inside this coach house motorhome now. It's a class, but you're, you're fine. You're fine. No, that's alright. No, you're fine. No, no, no. You guys are very love. Here's RV love. You're RV love? We are. <laughs> Hello, love. Hello, love. How are you? Hi, Julia and Victoria. Hi, Victoria. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Hi, Phil. Hi, Phil. We're fans. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. What are you guys shopping for? Just browse. Look who we met in here. Ricky and Rachel, where are you guys from? Homa, Louisiana. Homa? Homa, Louisiana. I love the accent. <laughs> <laughs> Funny how they did that with um, uh, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Nice Enjoy the show. Thanks for bringing the book. Oh, yeah, we made sure. Yeah. 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 I actually have a Living Your RV Life protection kit. Oh, I brought with yeah. it. And you can get these at any store. Those are a great upgrade. Now this is a this is a one gallon bag. And look how amazing this slips right in. No more worries about spills, dirt, dust, and it fits perfectly. Thank you for sharing that wonderful tip today. We've been here looking for new innovations and technologies and that's fantastic. Hope you enjoyed these video tours of these eight Class B motorhomes. We've got more videos on the way, so be sure to subscribe to RV Love TV here on YouTube and at our website rvlove.com where we have blog posts to accompany the videos. Let us know what you think down in the comments below and don't forget to hit subscribe.